Learn how to create a chalkborne sign with chalk text effect in Photoshop. Hello everyone, my name is Marko Kožokar and I'm an elite in Vata Auto. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use textures and layer styles to create a chalkborne sign with chalk text effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you're looking for a ready-made text effects, let me show you the Invato elements. Here you can get unlimited downloads of design assets, templates, fonts and so much more. And you can cancel your subscription anytime. For creating the chalkborne sign with chalk text effect in a quicker way, you can choose from plenty of graphic templates, advanced graphics and fonts that will make this work much easier for you. After you start the Photoshop, you go to File, New to create a new file and set the width and height to 1000 pixels. Set the foreground color code to 62C3C9. Go to Edit, Fill and use these settings. Now using the Pen tool or Shape tool, draw the speech bubble shape. Center it with the canvas and name this layer Speech Bubble. We are going to create the chalkboard texture now. Set the foreground color to 1A, 1A, 1A and the background color to white. Press Ctrl, Shift and N on your keyboard to create a new layer and name it Chalkboard Texture. Then go to Edit, Fill and use these settings. Now go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise and enter these settings. Go to Filter again, Blur, Motion Blur and set the angle to 55 and distance to 19 pixels. Now go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels and enter these settings. Select the chalkboard texture layer and control click on the Levels 1 layer to select both layers. Then. Press Ctrl E on your keyboard to merge them into one layer. Name this new layer Chalkboard Texture. Now press Ctrl J to duplicate this layer and name this new layer Chalkboard Text Texture and hide it. Then right click on the Chalkboard Texture layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. Alt click on the Speech Bubble layer and drag it down to duplicate this layer. Then name this new layer Wooden Frame and rename this layer to Chalkboard. Select the Wooden Frame layer, set the fill of this layer to 0%, right click on it and choose Blending Options. Select and check the Stroke effect and use these settings. Now right click on this layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. We are going to create the wooden texture now. So press Ctrl, Shift and N on your keyboard to create a new layer and name it Wooden Texture. Then make sure that the foreground color code is set to 1A, 1A, 1A. Go to Edit, Fill and use these settings. Now go to Filter. Render, Fibers and enter these settings. Right click on the wooden texture layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. Now select the wooden frame layer and control click on the wooden texture layer to select both layers and drag them to the top of the layers in the Layers panel. Select the wooden frame layer, right click on it, choose Blending Options 
and use these effects in settings. Now right click on the chalkboard layer, choose blending options and use these effects and settings. We are going to add the text now. Select the Trollboard Texture layer, choose Horizontal Type Tool, set the font to be the Cartoon Shout, font size to 125 pixels, alignment to center, and color to white. Type back, create a new line, set the font size to 60 pixels, and type to school. Select the text, go to window, character to bring up the character window, and here set the leading to 80 pixels. Using the move tool, Center the text with the speech bubble. Now right click on this layer, choose blending options, and use these effects and settings. Right click on this layer again and choose Convert to Smart Object. Change the blending mode of this layer to Screen. 
Now select and show the chalkboard text exterior layer, right click on it and choose create clipping mask. Change the blending mode of this layer to multiply. Go to layer, new adjustment layer, levels to create a new levels adjustment layer. Then right click on this layer and choose create clipping mask. In the properties panel, use these settings. Now using the pen tool or shape tool, create a piece of chalk. Press Ctrl T on your keyboard to transform it and position it as you like. Right click on this layer, choose blending options and use these effects and settings. Now press Ctrl J in your keyboard to duplicate this chalk layer and position this new layer as you like. Right click on this layer, choose blending options, select the color overlay effect and set the color code to C1E053. And here is our final result. I hope you understood everything. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Marco and thank you for watching.